Take a look at this woman. She's traveling around the world and she loves to find cheap accommodations. She loves to find cheap accommodations. What does this mean? Accommodations. Well, that means where you're going to stay for the night, okay? Like a hotel or a hostel. So she loves to find very cheap, inexpensive uh, accommodations everywhere she travels, okay? So today she is in Udaipur, India, and she's going to stay at the Lal Ghat Hostel, okay? But she's a little bit lost. She can't find the hostel. So she asks that guy, excuse me, do you know where the Lal Ghat Hostel is? And he says, yes, it's just around the corner. Yeah, it's just around the corner. Okay, thanks. So when she's at the hostel, she's going to say, hi, I have a reservation for tonight. Okay, and he's going to say, could I see your passport? Sure. All right, that'll be 1200 rupees for three nights. Here is the key. Your room is number six on the right. Okay, so that's it. That's really easy. You just go into the hostel and you have this conversation with the receptionist. Now, if you didn't make a reservation, then you could say this. Hi, do you have any availability for tonight? And he's going to say, yes, we have a private room and a dorm room. Hmm, how much is the private room? It's 400 rupees per night. Hmm, how much is the dorm room? It's 200 rupees per night. How many beds are in the dorm room? There are 10 beds. Could I see the dorm room? Sure, follow me. So after she sees the dorm room, she decides, yeah, okay, I'll stay here. Okay, I'll book a dorm bed for five nights. The key deposit is 100 rupees, so the total comes to 1100 rupees. Okay, very often you have to pay a deposit for the key. Okay, then when you're finished your stay, you bring the key back and they give you your deposit back. Okay. So here are some important questions that you might want to ask. Is there free Wi-Fi? <laughs> That's a really important question. What time is checkout? That's another very important question. Checkout is the time that you have to leave in the morning. You have to leave your room. Okay, some hotels and hostels have really early checkout times, like 9 a.m. or 10 a.m. Okay, and that's really bad because then you can't relax in the morning. You know, it's nice if the checkout time is like 12 o'clock or one o'clock because then you can just wake up, relax, eat some breakfast, pack up your things and then leave. Okay, is there laundry service? That's another important question. If you want to wash your clothes, then I mean, you need to wash them somewhere. And a lot of hotels and, ho and hostels offer laundry service. Okay, so that's good. Uh, if you can do your laundry, then you'll be ready for the next stage of your travels. Okay, so I want to know, would you rather stay in a dorm room or a private room? Which one would you rather stay in? Personally, I've stayed in both. And sometimes you can have some really interesting experiences in dorm rooms. You meet some really interesting people. Okay, so if you're a shy person, it might actually be good for you to stay in a dorm room because people will talk to you. You know, you maybe uh, you're gonna be sharing a bunk bed with someone. Okay, people will talk to you. You know, you might make some good friends that way. But it can also be really annoying staying in a dorm room, especially when there's people who snore. Okay, do you know what snoring is? It's like this. <sighs> that can be really, really annoying. I have some good stories 
of staying in dorm room, staying in hostels, staying in like a, an eight or ten bed dorm room with really, really loud snoring. I've just had some terrible experiences with that. But anyway, I want to know which one would you rather stay in? Let me know down there in the comments and I'll see you over in the next episode of Mad English TV. Take care.